what's up guys? John here, and in today's lesson I'm going to show you how to play Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah. This tune has been recorded by so many different artists, and there's so many great versions out there, but I thought we should go to the original, the guy who wrote it, Leonard Cohen. So I'm going to be showing you his version. There's two sections that we're going to learn, and we don't need a capo or anything. We're in the key of C. Before we get into the lesson, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, and make sure you subscribe for new lessons dropping every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All right, let's get into it. The tune starts off on a C and a G chord, one measure each. It goes a one, two, three, four, five, six, then G. Then we start the verse. Well, I've heard there was a secret chord. The thing about this song is we have a six, eight time signature. So we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six beats per measure. So we're gonna strum that C and we're gonna count to six and then go to G. Now let me show you these chords. C, we're gonna play from the A string down, three, two, open, one, open. It's gonna be C. And G, we're gonna play just an easy version of G here, three finger G, second finger on the third fret of the E string, first finger on the second fret of the A string, open D, open G, open B, and then third finger on the third fret of the E string. So that'll be our C and our G. So one measure each, a one, two, three, four, five, six, G, two, three, four, five, Six, and then we're into the verse. The verse goes from C to A minor. Now to play A minor, all you have to do from your C is bring your third finger to the second fret of the G string. So I'll leave these two fingers down and I'll switch. One, two, three, four, five, six to A minor. Da, 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 da. Then we're gonna go to F. For F, we'll just play from the D string down, 3rd fret, 2nd fret, and our first finger does a little bar here, 1-1. One, one. So we're going to go from F, and then to G, then C, then G. So all these chords last for 6 beats, so a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, A minor, 4, 5, 6, C. G, C, then G. Okay, you're halfway through the verse. Then we're gonna go back to C, da, 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 F to G, A minor, then to F. That's the next four bars. So you'll notice that there was one bar in there that had two chords per bar. So what we're gonna do in that one bar, basically, we're gonna go F to G. So it's like da -da 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 -da. And for that, because we have six beats in each measure, we're gonna split it up three beats on each chord. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, then A minor, and then F. And those are back to just one chord per bar. So a one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, switch to three, A minor. Five, six, F, two, three, four, five. Okay, last four bars of the verse. We go G, E7, A minor. And then A minor for two bars. So we're gonna start on that G. Then we're gonna go to E7, which is a new chord. To play this chord, we're gonna play all six strings. Open E, second finger on the second fret of the A string. Open D. First finger on the first fret of the G string, open B and open E. Then we'll go to A minor for two bars. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So here is those eight bars that I just went over from the C, F, G, and through the end of the verse. C, four, five, six. F, then G, then A minor, then F, then G. Seven, A minor. 
Okay, now as far as the strumming, it's totally cool to just do what I'm doing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Every six beats just giving a strum, except for, of course, that split bar where we go F to G. If you want, you can also accent one and then four like this. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. So let's try that. We're going to play the verse section. We'll start with that little intro C to G and put it together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. C, two, three, four, five, six. G, two, into the verse. Well, I've got three, four, five, six. A minor, four, five, six. C, two, three, four, five, six. A minor, four. Then to the F. Six G two three four five six C two three four five six G two halfway two three here's that split bar F to G then A minor four five six F two three four five six G two four E seven two bars of A minor two three four five six one two Cool, so that's the verse. Let's learn the chorus. It sounds like this. So we're going to start on an F chord for two bars, and you could play this little F that we were playing, which totally works. That's probably the easiest way to play it. Or you could do what I was doing, which is I like using these thumb chords, so I'm putting my thumb on the low E first fret, and then third finger and fourth finger on the third frets of the A and the D strings and then second finger on the second fret of the G and first finger on the first fret of the B. Or of course you could do the full bar like that as well without the thumb. So we're gonna go F for two bars. I'll just show you the easy version for now. A one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. Then we go to A minor. Then back to F for two. C for one, G for one, and then this, the last, you could think of it like the last two bars of the chorus is just the intro again. C, two, three, four, five, six, G, two, and then back to the Back to the verse. So one other thing I want to comment on is the strumming. When I went to the chorus, I'm playing all eighth notes and just going one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, all downs. Down, 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 down. So really just laying into it and breaking it up from the verse, which was just one, two, three, four, five, six, a simpler strum, and then the chorus is like it's a little bigger, a little more motion. So let's try this chorus section together. Ready? A one, two, three, four, five, six. F two, three, four, five, six. F two, three, four, five. Then A minor. Then an F. Then C. Then G. C to G again. Verse. Cool, so let's try playing the whole thing now. We're going to start with the C and G up front for our intro, then we'll go to the verse and play all the way through to the chorus. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. C, two, three, four, five, six. G, two, three, four. Verse. And C, then A minor, F, G, C, G, C, split bar, F to G, then A minor, 
F, G, E7, A minor. To the chorus, a oh, one, two, three, four. All right, you guys, I really hope this lesson helps you out. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you learned something, and also make sure you're subscribed. We've got new videos coming out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you could leave a comment below, any engagement on this video really helps out my channel. So please do that. You're getting free information here. Thanks for your support, and we'll see you in the next video.